Hi yeah. Well, Alex has just found a tiny little beach kind of thing. Um, and we've just pulled up from the tender and we're just having some waters and a little rest. I've got a square bum from sitting on that little ledge. I don't think big bums were made for little boats. But um, look at all these tenders that are on the side of the bank. So, basically there's some steps from a car park up there and everybody just leaves their little tenders along here and then get in it and go off into the water and go sailing, look. There you go. There's Bo with our tender. It's cool, isn't it? I'll just show you some sailboats, look. So Mom. Alex got the motor, um, well, basically, the motor on our tender that gave up, that you saw on um, one of the vlogs, and he had to row. He then um, had to give that up and buy a new one. He managed to get a cheap, uh, cheap little one off one of the blokes who works um, at the marina. Um, but that was broken too. So yeah, we ended up sitting, I think it was New Year's Day, wasn't it, Alex? New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve, yeah, me and the boy sat in the car for about two hours in the heat while poor Alex sweated outside, at least we had aircon. Alex was outside trying to fix this little engine and basically he had to strip two the two little engines and make his own, if that makes sense, he's so clever. Um, so we've got a working engine now, which is cool, but... It's still only a little one. So we're just like, what do you say? Put it, put, put in. Yeah. What do you say? Tell me. Hey. What is it? Hey. Put, 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 put. Yeah, it goes pretty slow. I think what we need is a 10 horsepower for our adventures, I think. 10 horsepower. So eventually, hopefully, we're gonna, um, yeah, get a little 10 horsepower one so we can go off more. Um, and pick up some speed, which would be better. So that's wicked. Um, and the other bit of news I've got is that it looks like we're moving from the swing moor in we're at now and moving to a place, it was just across the road, it's called Balmain, and um, well, it's called Cameron's Marina in Balmain. And um, it's a trendy little town. It's really cute. Um, and hopefully we're going to get some work. Because basically the money's running out. So um, we're going to get some work between us. And um, yeah, then we can start doing the boat up. So that's really cool. The place for Cameron's Marina is... Uh, well, it's like a little hippie commune. I think it is, anyway. It's pretty, it's cute, and it's got loads of character. It is really cool, and the people are lovely. The bloke who runs it is French, um, and is really friendly. He's already asked Alex about him working for him, because they've got um, a big, I think it's a trawler boat. Oh, hang on. Say again. Oh, he wants to show this. Wow, wicked. You paddling? <laughs> the boys are just loving it. Absolutely loving it. Even even with the boring stuff, we've had loads of boring stuff to do and stressful bits. Um, it's only been the last couple of days. We've got to actually relax and kind of take in what we're doing and, and enjoy it. Um, because we're moving in, this is why I haven't really vlogged, we're moving in the excitement and that has been there but obviously you can imagine moving in to a yacht on a floating mooring so we're not tied up to a marina you know we're going out to our little floating mooring and the yacht was well it wasn't dirty but it needed cleaning because it just been sat there um, and then we basically dumped all our belongings in this little, it's not a little yacht, but you know what I mean, it's confined spaces, 
just in the middle and then we've had to work our way through it. So I was going to do a vlog and show you it all how it was before we got it organised. But I just it's just been crazy, just not been chance. Me and Alex stayed up the first night till midnight trying to put things away. Um, and it's just continued like that really. So it's only been the last couple of days we've got to actually kind of relax and take stock of things. So that's a nice feeling. But now I think we're kind of probably feeling it a little bit on edge again, just because um, yeah, we're now moving to this marina, which is wicked. But we can't sail the boat because the engine's not been sorted yet. Alex hasn't had a chance to look at the engine um, and get that working. So um, we've probably got to be towed unless he gets a chance to fix the engine and then we'll get someone, um, probably Ziggy from the marina, to sail it over, drive, well, drive it over, you know, use the motor and, and drive it over for us. But um, So yeah, we've just probably had a couple of days of just starting to sit back and relax a little bit, but now things are changing again, so... The car, we're going to sell the car because it's just money, just, it's just too much money to keep a car going but we probably won't use a lot and it's money that can be going on towards doing the boat up and towards our travel um, savings pot. Um, but yeah, I'll, um, I'll vlog all that and show you what's going on and what's happening. Um, the, also, the other marina that we're going to Although we love it, we love the feel of it, it's, and it is like a little community. Where we are now, it's not a community at all. You're just kind of your own person kind of thing, doing your own thing. But um, Cameron's is like a little community, so that is really cool. But it's really rickety and old. Yeah, Bo? Oh, oh go on then. I won't show you Bo, because he's in the nudie. He's always stripping off. Oh, just, there's a little bum. Where is he? <laughs> wow, Bo, that's wicked. Good swimming, Bo. Um, but yeah, it's very rickety and old, and there's massive steep steps, which is going to be a problem. So, I don't know. We're going to have to figure things out when we're there. It's kind of our only option at the moment, so we've just got to go with it. Me and Alex went to see it, and we had an awkward moment and probably not talking for an hour, just because we knew we... We knew how many pros there was to it, but the cons of having the children there and the practicality of it stood out like a sore thumb, really. And neither of us really wanted to approach it and talk about it because there wasn't really an answer. We are backed into a corner about having to go there. It's weird. I'll show you on the vlog and then you'll understand why we like it, but why it's so, it's gonna be difficult. But we'll see, we'll just do what we do. We'll give things a go. If it's not working, we'll just come up with a different solution. We'll figure it out. That's what me and Alex are really good at. So, yeah, that's us at the moment. Um, I really need to show you the inside of the boat. Because, I, yeah, I, I've let you down. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I really did want to vlog right at the beginning of us seeing the inside of it and what was going on. But I can't explain to you how difficult and things were just to get things going and to kind of set up some normality for the family mainly for the boys but the boys love it they love it they love their bedroom so i'll show it all you'll see it all now um it's still not as we want it but it, it's good we're happy we're happy or do um it's only cosmetic stuff we want to do now but we're all settled now so i'll show you that also i knocked my head on the on the um, hatch and gave myself a bit of concussion for a couple of days. I was really poorly with it. Um, and a mix of um, seasickness for a little bit, not much. I think Alex was saying how proud he was of all of us because um, we, we only had a little bit of seasickness. And then we got over that. Bo, when he got it, he just went and laid down, so he was really good. Yeah, babe. All wet, don't worry. I'm gonna come now. I better go. But um, yeah, mine turned into land sickness, so I was ill for a couple of days every time we went on land. So that's another reason why I didn't vlog. I should have done, but I was just too poorly. You don't want to see that. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll speak to you soon, and I'll show you the inside of your yacht. Missing your loads. Yeah, what can I say? We've had some wicked support, as always, off you all. Lovely messages. So, Happy New Year. Hope it's um, started off as a real good one for all of you. And 
I'm sorry if I'm not messaging my friends who are messaging me. We don't have Wi-Fi, so it's costing me a bomb every time I do something. But um, I will get back to you, just bear with me. I'm always rubbish anyway at responding. But you know that I love you all. Got to go over some jellyfish to see. Bye guys, love ya. Jellyfish, yay.